Howdy boys and girls, Mac is here with another 3 games for you for this episode. So I hope you all been very very good this past week. Grab your soda, get something to eat and let's start. So without wasting our time, in under 15 seconds you already know that our first game of the day is going to be Everspace 2. So for the beginning, I want to mention that Everspace 2 is still in early access. But guys, believe me, there is a lot of things to look at already. So let's begin. So in Everspace 2, you take on the role of Adam, a headshot pilot who is defending a mining operation alongside with his friend Ben. After a routine mining stop gets embushed by the bandits, Adam and Ben are captured and Ben is severely injured. During a brief integration, you learn Adam's true origins, a military clone that is designed to be ultimate fighter pilot. Adam escapes Ben and fellow prisoners Dex after seeing them abandon the base somewhere in the DMC. So basically, when you know the beginning of the plot, now I can get deeper into the game and the mechanics. Also, the core mechanics and the fundamentals of the Everspace gender is basically the same as the previous part, there is a lot of difference. Combat is still most thrilling activity, supported by the controls of imitating familiar yet other room to improve, players be able to pull off a masterful dodge between asteroids, fly down narrowing the corridors while avoiding missile file. It never quite matches up to the fear that the set by the original but skilled pilots are able to plot of incredibly satisfying maneuvers. While certain aspects of aerospace procedure generation are still filmed in place, there is a lot of room for more detailed, handcrafted environment. This is where to change the genre really steps up the game for the Everspace 2. Massive spaceports, huge directed ships scattering over the corner of space. There is a lot of character and the depths of the world that I often felt missing in the earlier versions of the original game. Everspace 2 is still in infancy. The lack of the roguelike elements have come to the room of original may be a step in the wrong direction for many fans. However, in their absence, it's a bigger, more exciting universe and the passionate story and the thrilling adventure. I can't wait to see what's on the horizon for Everspace 2. So finishing on, Everspace 2. Still in early access guys, but the game is already looking super interesting. Don't waste your time, grab your hands on it and believe you're not gonna be disappointed at all. So our second game of the day is The House of Da Vinci 2. The House of Da Vinci is the sequel to 2017 first-person puzzler sees the players leave the comforting boundaries of Leonardo's workshop and tour locations in several cities around the Renaissance Italy in service of solving large puzzle involving secret societies and mysterious corruptions that is Da Vinci working on. Supporting rather than artificially gathering, the mystery is wonderful array of logic puzzles that for the most part have a lovely flow, slowly building in complexity and beauty. The House of Da Vinci 2 is conducted in a first-person mode viewing. You'll be using your mouse to click on the items to investigate or use them, as well as to move from one node to another through the environment, traveling around the corners and the camera swings with you. The camera movements are great dynamics and the presentation swinging and swirling around mechanics as they open and expand. One challenge that is not always too easy to tell where you can double click to enter or leave an area or finding yourself on in pace you mean have found another exit or entrance. There is a small a bit of serviceable voice acting also in the game. Through the character you play never speaks. With your mysterious behavior supporting a circus and an defeating accent. The actor for Leonardo's Da Vinci does a nice job charmingly conveying his renational as you interrupt him during of his small paintings. You know, that is little doo, doo the last supper. And the variety of mechanical squeaks, creaks that are gonna fill up you and pull on the levers. Watch your slowly turn or manipulate a variety of constructions as you get to end up each character. You'll start hearing the music slowly as well. If you hate mazes, you have fear as Da Vinci's first test isn't actually solving the labyrinth, but rather the many details mechanical doodlads and the locks that litter. For example, doors are never just doors, instead they are always contain elaborately styled locks that you always have to puzzle your way through. And locks don't just install you looking for the keys, although you'll be better searching for those. Solving the labyrinths will depend on your searching for environments for the sign of something that is out of ordinary. Check every tiny ornament or screw that is or a nail that is seems like differently worn or slightly out of phase. 
and make sure you always avail yourself to the range of the camera views, as the clue could be on the floor or even on the ceiling. Explore every nook for the cranny such as anomalies that are usually an indication that you'll need to interact with the item or the area to progress uncovered puzzle. The puzzle increases difficulty as you progress, and there is one particular Rubik's Cube type challenge toward the end that I found really very fascinatingly difficult. The pace of the game stopped entirely from there until I couldn't work out the solution, and I'm not gonna spoil you or show you how it looked. So basically, finishing on this note, the House of Da Vinci challenges you to match with something that masters sequels. The House of Da Vinci 2 is an amazing puzzle game with a nice graphic, with a very interesting design, level design obviously, and a lot of really cool puzzles. So I really recommend you this if you want to enjoy your time in something that is really very really relaxy. Let's move on. And our last game of the day is going to be Black Mesa. So Black Mesa is basically a pants thinking recreation of Half-Life with the modern day graphics and extremely level design tweaks. It's a perfect complement to my Rust detonated memories when I was playing this Half-Life 1, Half-Life 2. The plot of the game is easily surrendable. One morning, the 27-year-old Gordon Freeman reports to the work at the Black Mesa Research Facility. After putting on Biohazard suit equipped with a speaker through the robotic voice providing you with the updates of relative protection and health status, he goes to a lab where he is asked by his supervisor to apply sample of anomalous material into spectrometer. During a course, a resonance cascade and opening a portal to an alien dimension. From there, Gordon must try to survive the alien invasion that overruns the lab, which is exactly materially as a salt complex, which is proposed to wise of facility of aliens and witnesses. Freeman, who is unusually adaptive firearms for a theoretical physicist, travels through the labyrinth corridors of the Black Mesa, from the deeps of its merry savages to the ventilation system of its numerous departments, to the top secret areas. In spartial terms, the game works to install a powerful sensation of cabin fever in the player, who is intimidatingly teased with the glimpses of outside world before being funneled back. Half-Life was one of the first games that made me think that vanguard of technical innovations in the game industry has shifted from arcade to home. So about two-thirds into my playthrough, I decided to pull up a walkthrough of the original to see how it fared against the modern version. I was shocked at how drab original looks two decades later. Black Mesa really made a great job to making the game to the standards of modern gaming. To play Black Mesa, you will need to be reminded that the video games were briefly silly. Side gags are its most narrative currency rather than the moments of melodramic explosions. Gordon colleagues meet numerous undefined endings. Those with a taste of retro gaming or like how sci-fi shooter, you need to take note. Few games with the food in 90s hold up as well. Black Mesa for me literally receiving a 10 out of 10 just by the childhood memories and how good the game really was adapted by the people who actually are not even that much connected to the original one. So guys, on this note, I think we need to finish, we are already 8 minutes into the video and I think you are slowly wanting to try out any of these 3 games for you. So guys, don't forget to press like, comment on the video, subscribe, it's really gonna help. And this was Mac with you here boys and girls, I'll see you in the next video.